Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be making a fall card with a nice um, golden leaf. We're going to be starting with 65 pound cardstock in white, cream, and brown in the dimensions shown. We'll first start off with the white card. I'm going to make uh, the background uh, very, add some depth to the background here. I'm going to be using my Tim Holtz Distress Ink and the Distressed Ink tool to go around. We'll be using fossilized amber and brushed corduroy, starting with the brushed corduroy, which is the deeper tan color. I'm just placing this all around the edges, making sure to use pressure in some areas, keeping it light in others. I do keep a corner kind of light. I want some depth on this background. Uh, I'll go ahead and speed up the coloring process here so that you can see it, and then we'll continue on with the card. As you can see, our background's completed, and now I, I'm pulling my matte medium out. I want to seal this ink, the distressed ink, into the base of the card, and matte medium will do that so that we can then apply some watercolors, and when we do that, the base will stay as we want it here. Uh, the matte medium does move some of the distressed ink around. You do want to use a lighter touch, but for the most part, I'm okay with that. It kind of adds some depth uh, to the card with it moving around. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll add our matte medium in. Um, and we'll get this drying real quick. I'm going to use the heat tool uh, to set it in and dry it. And then when we're done with this, what we're going to do is we'll, we're going to start planning out where the leaf is going to fit on our card. Okay, I am going to use my Stedler watercolor pencil to draw the basic outline of a leaf. You don't have to be real careful here. I'm putting two points on the uh, paper just to give myself an idea of where I want the leaf to fall and drawing a half um, circle or a curved line from one point to the next on both sides. Now that we have the basic shape made for the leaf, I'm going to put the stem component into the leaf. And you'll notice here that I do change my mind as I go through and the design kind of speaks to you as you're working with it. And I, I actually flip and end up putting the, the veins and the stem of the leaf going the other way uh, as we're shading in and, and bringing the depth of the color. It just goes to show you that there's never a mistake in what you're doing. You play around with your, your paints and your design and uh, it will speak to you as you're, as you're going through it and you, you will come up with something uniquely to you uh, when you're done and truly um, wonderful in design. Here I'm taking the watercolor brush and starting to blend the watercolors uh, from the edge of the leaf into the center. Uh, I do spend a lot, of, a lot of time around the edges to get them 
um, just the appropriate shade that I want and so that they're starting to blend in. Uh, we will be bringing in additional watercolors, drying the piece, and overlaying some acrylics. And it's the mixture and the combination of the inks that make the dimension and the design for the leaf to pop right off the page. You can see here I'm going to be bringing in my heat tool to dry it and notice how I use the heat tool to move the water and the ink around inside of the leaf. I'm doing that because I kind of want the, the ink to dry unevenly. I want it to be dark in some spots, light in other. So I'm using the heat tool to, to move that, that ink around and dry it unevenly. Uh, there, therefore, I get a little bit more dimension. Now we're going to grab our luminaire acrylic paint. We're using Sunset Gold. And we will start layering the acrylic in the Sunset Gold over our watercolor, especially along the edges. And you'll notice how it ties really well with the different colors of watercolor that we've used. It adds a brilliant shimmer and, again, additional layer of depth to the piece. Just love this paint. Here's where I decide that I want to flip the leaf around and I thought that the, the spine of the leaf uh, and the stem would look much better coming from the opposite direction. So I grab my medium watercolor pencil and uh, mark those into the leaf and just lightly go over it to, to make sure that it floats well with the background. Overall, I'm really happy with the leaf and how it looks. It's exactly what I was shooting for. Just kind of these fall golden colors um, that sat nicely on a toned background. Now we're going to um, use our metallic luster. This is a great product. It's a wax-based product with um, mica powders mixed into it. It's acrylic-based. I like it to make little specks over uh, my project. Uh, I use a small little brush, spray some water in right directly into the product and splash them around. 
as you see here again it just kind of brings everything together for the piece and we're pretty much done i do decide that i want to um, enhance the edges a little bit more and i do use the metallic luster um, after i dry around the edges um, and i'll let you see that and then we'll go ahead and put our card together Okay, now we're going to put our sentiment on it. Our, our beautiful card is almost complete. I'm using this Welcome Autumn sentiment I have. It's a real cheap sentiment stamp. I think I got it in a dollar bin. I absolutely love it though. Uh, you just have to be careful with it because it doesn't have a great backing on it. But we will be using Perfect Medium and some copper embossing powder and go ahead and emboss our sentiment in. Thank you for joining me. Please, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, leave me a comment below, and I will be posting more videos like this. Or if you have suggestions for videos or cards that you'd like to see, please let me know. Thank you.